going to our packing party. If you have donations, they go here. If you can leave your coats and personal belongings in this classroom, you can know they'll be safe. Then we move along to the next classroom. As we think about packing boxes today, what is the most important thing to go into a shoebox? Prayer. Remember to pray for the child who will get the box, that it will bless the child and they will come to know Jesus. Also, while you're packing your box, think about what the boy or girl might like to find when they open the box and then make it very special. Pick up your box in this room and then move into the shop. As you move into the shop, stop at the table with the markers. Notice that there is a sticker on top of your box. Decide if you are packing for a girl or a boy. Make an X in the box that says girl for a girl box or an X in the box that says boy for a boy box. Then decide what age group you'll be packing for. A two to four year old, a five to nine year old, or a 10 to 14 year old and put an X in the box for that age group. You can have an adult help with this part if you don't know or choose your age because you know what a child your age will like. As we move further into the shop, find a table to fill out a color sheet or write a note. We want every child to get a personal note from you because you pack their box. If they are interested in knowing who gave them this great gift, you want to show them. It also shows that someone they don't know loves them enough to send a gift, just like God did. You can decorate the inside of the lid with stickers. You can draw a picture on the inside lid or a message like God loves you. Begin packing in the hall. First, go to the school supplies table for the age group that you're packing for. Start with a notebook and a color book. Lay it in the bottom, curving it up the side of the box. The notebooks and color books are big, but if we put them in first, everything else will fit. Then add crayons and a school supplies bag. Do you know why we start with these items? It is because children in many parts of the world don't have a place to buy school supplies. So we make sure to send them some. Maybe you don't think it's important, but school supplies are very needed for children in other countries. Make sure to follow the age group signs so everything is age appropriate for the child that receives your box. Next, move on to the hygiene table. Every box should have a toothbrush. Make sure each girl box receives a bag of hair binders and bows. Also add a washcloth and a comb as long as the supplies last. You might also find some headbands, dental floss, band-aids, bandanas, hats, and other items that you might want to include in your box. Maybe you don't like to take baths or brush your teeth, but sometimes children might not have their own washcloth, toothbrush, or comb. When you've put all the school supplies and hygiene items, take your box to the wall table for the child age and boy or girl on your label. Find one nice wall item to put on the top of your box. Do you know why we call them wall items? because when the child opens the box, we want them to say, wow. Next, go to the filler table. Find little toys, clothing, socks, dishes, jewelry, craft kits, fishing kits, and many other fun things that will fill up your box. We don't want to send air. We want all the boxes to be full because if one child's box is not full, then they'll be sad if the child next to them receives a full box. Maybe if you pack a shirt, you can find shoes to match or hair ribbons to match a dress. Maybe all the items in your box can be the same color theme. When your box is all packed, make sure it will close and take it to the checking station. Please pray again for the child who will receive the box. Pray that when the child gets the box, a gift from someone they don't know, they will understand more about God's love and a gift to us, Jesus. And when we believe in him, he gives us eternal life. At the checking table, the checker will make sure that you have a label on your box and that you put everything in that is needed, age appropriate, and that it will close nicely. Then it gets a rubber band around it. It gets packed into a carton and it's on its way to a child somewhere around the world. Once you send off your box, 
you may start the process all over again. We will pack until all the supplies are gone. We have snacks near the kitchen if you need to take a break, and the restrooms are right across from the shop. Once you've completed the packing process and you're ready to go, make sure to stop by our photo booth and take a picture memory of your journey today with us. If you have any questions throughout the day, find someone with a red apron on, a name tag that says Operation Christmas Child on it, ask any questions any time of the day. We're so thankful for you coming today and being a part of this ministry, helping to serve Jesus around the world.